Good morning. Welcome to our children's sermon this morning. I want to ask you a question this morning, and you just think about it as I ask it. How do you get your news? Who tells you what is going on in the world? I bet that you find out your information perhaps from parents. Um, there are other ways that you also, and at least adults, hear their news. One way is the computer. I'm trying to show you my computer right there. The television. We also sometimes use a telephone or our cell phones. An old way when I was your age that we found out the news was also through the newspaper. There are many ways that today we have of learning what is going on in the world. And some of what we're hearing these days is very frightening. Sometimes it leaves children and adults unsettled. Well, today I want to tell you about some good news. And that good news is from our scripture, and it is from the book of Mark. If you recall around Christmas and during Advent, we talked about the coming of the birth of Jesus and that Jesus' mom, Mary, had gone to visit her cousin, Elizabeth. And Elizabeth also was having a baby. And her baby's name was John. So John and Jesus are cousins. John grew up and he became a messenger for the good news. In Bible times, there were no newspapers. There were no phones or computers or televisions. So there were messengers and prophets and leaders and teachers who shared the teachings from the Old Testament. And then, of course, we have the New Testament in our Bibles today. So John, during Jesus' time, his cousin John, was one of those people, one of those messengers who shared what was going on in the world, but his news was not about the bad things. His news was about the coming Messiah. The people of Israel were going through difficult times. They were hungry. They were looking for a leader. And John told them, that he was preparing the way for the Messiah, the Savior. And John's message was one of repentance. Repent of your sins because someone is coming, and that person is Jesus. Repent of your sins because someone is coming, and that person will give you hope. That person will give you new life. And so as we move from the Christmas story of Jesus' birth and into the scripture today, we are aware that when Jesus became a grown man, his message, the message of John was fulfilled, that Jesus was the Savior. Jesus died, he rose again, and he will come again. So you and I today also have a message of good news to share that regardless of what adults or what you may see and hear that's going on in the world today, remember our hope is in Christ and share that good news with others because your words may be just what someone needs to hear about Jesus and the new life and the hope that he brings. Use the Bible and scripture verses and stories from the Bible to share your hope with others, the hope of Christ. Let us pray. Lord, we thank you that we can come together to talk about our hope and our faith 
and the peace that only you can give. May we be messengers to those in our midst of the good news of hope and resurrection, redemption and new life that come through you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. See you next time, friends.